So um, there's a pretty common question that people, you know, ask. That being, what are your hobbies? And it depends on the person that you are. If you're a, a close family member, I say playing video games because, I mean, you don't just have a giant fucking shelf of video games because it's funny. So, if you're a close family member, that would be collecting and playing video games. Because, I mean, who in their fucking right mind has a complete box copy of Combat or a brand new sealed fucking Mario game, you know? Or our own fucking Gex for the 3DO. And, you know, I have my interesting titles that staying on the floor. I have my interesting titles. Like a fucking Tetris for PDI, you know? Game collector. But there's also, uh, if you're not so close family member, like a grandparent, you know, then I'd say watching movies. Because uh, just like my big game collection, I also have a pretty huge DVD collection as well. Fuck, you can see some right here. These are all DVDs. I'm running out of shelf space, that's why they're up here now. But I mean, come on, if you have this, you're a DVD collector. <laughs> yeah, this was funny. It's funny that there was no spider tag on it. But yeah, no, I, you know, buy a shit ton of movies. A lot of them are comedies. Uh, damn near my entire fucking collection is comedies. Because I can, I, I like my comedies, you know? I cannot fucking stand drum, dramas. I think they're boring as shit. So my entire collection's either horror or comedy. Which is funny, because my uncle who, you know, I talk about my collections and shit to all the fucking time, you know. He, his entire collection's practically dramas. So, you know, mine's all comedies because I like funny shit. Doesn't matter how bad the comedy is, I still fucking like it. That's why I own shit like, what, 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 what do we have here? Hairspray. This is, this is not even a comedy. Fat Albert. I actually don't even know what I'm pulling out. Horse gum. What the fuck is this? There you go. I'm, I like comedies. That, that's my proof right there. 50 comedy classics for two dollars. Featuring Charlie Chaplin. But yeah, no. I like my comedies. I like DVD collecting. Now, that's to pretty much everyone that's related with family. You know, for, my, for actual parents. I'm like... I collect, play, and get all the achievements of video games, because that's what I like doing, and getting all the achievements 100%ing these games, you know, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of these fucking games. Now, of course, oh, you're just lying about that. Uh, if I was lying, why is my gamer score so fucking high? So yeah, that's the main reason, that's the main reason I play these fucking games for achievements. And to grandparents and other people, not including cousins, I'm like, I collect fucking DVDs. I watch these movies. Because tell me one fucking streaming service that has dogma. You can't. But there is a third group of people. People I'm not close with. Like, that's people like friends. Fucking cousins, you know? And to them, I'd say my hobby is archiving media. Now, of course, I've told my grandparents that I've archived media. They don't listen to me because they think I'm talking absolute fucking nonsense. And I'm pretty sure they think I pirate shit, so. But yeah, that's my main hobby. That is the hobby that I actually do do. Don't laugh. Is archiving media. I can't archive this. This is something else. So yeah, like, tell me anyone in the fucking world who's uploaded. Woo's. Fuck me. Lose Clues, Secret Tips from Bass Masters, Classic Champion, Woo Dates. Not, not a single fucking person. This is my main hobby. How not to be wrong from some guy in Ozark. That's Bioshock. Uh, oh yeah. Ronald Reagan's Funeral. This is my favorite one so far. But yeah, this is my main hobby, is archiving media. Now, I'm sure if you watch my videos, you'd say, you, you've heard me say, oh, I've uploaded this to the archive channel, I've uploaded this to re-uploads music. And you're probably sitting there thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? What the hell is fucking this re-uploads music account, this archive stash account? You keep fucking saying that. 
it. But what in the hell is it? Well, it's literally a channel where I upload a bunch of random bullshit that no one else will. And, you know, I would like to talk about uh, my personal hobby. This is the thing I do for fun. Let me iterate for that. Let me, let me re-say that, okay? I do this for fun. And when you see it, you're going to be like, how in the fuck is this fun? This is the most tedious goddamn shit in the world. Until you also realize I got the fucking cut a thousand ropes achievement and cut the rope on the fucking demo of the game. What, who is that fucking one guy? Alilian or whatever the fuck his name was? That, that guy with the immense OCD that plays the shit out of Bubsy? That fucker? That's me. That that guy who fucking grinds shit to get like to the maximum fucking stage in RPGs and shit. That's me, but with uploading bullshit. Like they're like I somehow find this really fucking entertaining. While other people will be like, "Holy fucking shit! How has this man not gone insane yet?" And honestly, I don't know either. I honestly don't. I technically kind of did go fucking insane. <clears throat> you know, people are starting to fucking hate me now. But i am been going fucking insane uploading bullshit, you know? So let's talk about the my my second channel, the Reuploads Music slash Archival Stash account. Since I changed the names of all my fucking channels, uh, now it's archiving ar archival stash because it's because I've done a lot more uploading DVDs than I have fucking uploading music. So yeah, let's talk about that channel that I have that I keep fucking referring to in my goddamn videos. So what is Silas Sterling Archival Stash? And how the fuck have we gotten to this point? So pretty much Archival Stash first started as a channel that was something on the lines of like Silas's shit posts or something, whatever the fuck it was called. And you know, it was just pretty much just for my random bullshit that I'd upload. You know, that I didn't really feel like fit my main channel at the time, which was just called Silas Sterling. Uh, even though all the videos on that channel was just, like, some fucking random bullshit anyway. And, you know, this, this account was pretty much like... When I was a kid, when I was a really little kid, uh, I had a lot of, like... Like fucking dumbass personas and shit. Uh, I had uh, the noob or the nerd or some shit. I think it was the noob, uh, which I would do, which I would use when like playing PlayStation Three games by myself. I wouldn't record any of this shit, but I'd use it when like play, playing PlayStation Three, like Little Big Planet and shit. And it's just like, just like this fucking loser who's like, this shit isn't as good as fucking. He's like, I wouldn't cuss, but. This, this stuff isn't as good as, like, Call of Duty. It's not good as Call of Duty. That's it. That was, that was the entire joke of the character. And, like, me talking to myself, I'd be like, No, you just don't get it. You just don't get it. You, you It's like, this game's really fun. It's like, I don't know. And I have two controllers plugged into my PlayStation 3. So it looked like multiplayer. I do that shit all the fucking time. I still do that type of stuff today. Uh, talk to myself and make my own little characters. That's how My World Manga 2 started, by the way. That's just a little tip that uh, started with me talking to myself because I actually probably have some mental problems. I might actually legitimately have some form of, like, bipolar. But, yeah. And this account, use the email that I use for this account is a huge Silas fan. So clearly this was, this was for like, oh, Silas is my favorite YouTuber. Because I had like fucking 300, like fucking 50 subs max. I think that shit's now at like 500, but yeah, and that's pretty much what all this account was, until I realized, you know, let's just make this a second channel, just for me to upload some random bullshit on here, so that's how we got like, basket and ball speed run, which is two minutes and not the full game, spooky story like really scary, which uh, my, the Chromebook had a real big issue recording audio, so it's completely silent, and then a bunch of Wikipedia speed runs, because I thought they were really funny, uh, Aqua Team Hunger Force intro, no sound effects, which just came out of the PS2 game. 
Uh, and then this one, which was me doing the blue whale challenge. Because <laughs> that was fucking funny. And then I changed it to, like, sh I think I changed it to shit posts. And then I changed it to something else, and I don't remember what I changed it to. But I think around this time, it was still shit posts. So, like, we have the, the Spongebob movie Shell City scene, but with Doki Doki Literature Club music. Uh, some re-uploads. And then I uploaded a bunch of, like, my backlog of videos that I had. So, we got shit like, um, like, this was just, like, a little fucking ARG I wanted to make, but I never really got around to it. Uh, the, an OK Private series, which was just a bunch of videos on my main account, on my main account, my original main account, that just, was just a bunch of fucking, like, private videos that I just named OK, like, 1, OK, 2, OK, 3, because I wanted to clear up space on my phone. Uh, when the shower is boring, which was an unlisted video I have, I think, same, I, fuck, I don't remember this shit, this shit's from old, this shit's old. When the sirens won't shut up. That's just like some fucking meme I made or something. Video Pleas, Lost Silas video. Uh, this was my second ever video on YouTube. Uh, I never fucking uploaded it. It, it. it stayed as a draft. And then I have, you know, an archive of a friend's video. A mashup that I made that sucks. Behind the scenes of a different channel I'm, I made. Uh, a video I forgot to upload. Uh, another video that I just never uploaded. I tried to speedrun uh, my fucking video game. And then the entire, and then this was my first ever soundtrack upload, the Soja Ramoon soundtrack. And the service that I used, Tune for Tube, uh, didn't really have a save feature. So I, so I had to put the title, then I had to click uh, put it in this specific format because it was, you know, kind of an album cover and then click upload and that's how I did a lot of the soundtracks uh, before I started using online convert so I, I hit the fucking limit not only have I hit the fucking limit of that goddamn thing but I've also straight up just hit the upload limit before several different times because I would go actually insane relaxing ps2 memory card screen you know it's just a bunch of shit this is also where i would start uploading a bunch of videos from my friends and other videos i had downloaded so there's a bunch of school videos <laughs> there's just a bunch of fucking school videos which uh, my statistics on people who watch my videos elsewhere now says that they've watched it on shit like uh canvas and fucking uh, like actual colleges use these videos, which is fucking nuts to me. So I know you fuckers are out there. And then just some other stuff, you know. This was pretty much my second channel. This would be the channel that I use just to upload extra bullshit. Uh, then we started getting stuff like this. Now, what happened here? Uh, I, my main channel became part of an ARG, so now uh, I wasn't going to use that channel for two fucking years straight. And so I started dumping all my sh videos onto here. A bunch of videos. I just dumped them straight onto here. Me singing songs, pretty much, was a lot of it. And then just, like, videos that I never made. Me reading the entirety of My World manga. And then the entire Mario Kart Wii soundtrack. And me being like, fuck you, Nintendo. Ha 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 ha. You know. And then... After, pretty much, after I got through uploading uh, a lot of the videos that I had on Facebook Messenger, uh, I slowly started just uploading soundtracks. I liked uploading soundtracks. Because, you know, it's nice having access to this music. Here's an entire fucking live stream where I was in it. You know, so when, whenever you're go, starting to go through here, you know, you'll start seeing a lot more soundtracks, a lot more random DVDs. Like, I got a bunch of, like, Stossel in the Classroom DVDs from my school. So, you know, I started uploading a bunch of stuff. And it was starting to become kind of more of an archive than just a 
channel that I use for fun. So not only would there be soundtrack uploads and, you know, extra shit. I think this was one of the times when I hit the daily upload limit. There's like 70 of these fucking things. But also, like, but also wouldn't, it wouldn't just be like for my videos, but also just like a bunch of random bullshit music and videos that I'd rip from DVDs and CDs and shit. And then I stopped uploading normal fucking videos on here. I have an entire playlist called, like, Real Videos, which is the videos I actually fucking made. And then I moved to an entirely new account, HQ Silas Sterling, which is the one that you're currently watching right now. Call me FDA. And a after that, I primarily used this account for music for a while. I called it Reuploads Music. Just so, I, I didn't want to just call it like uploads music, you know. I wanted it to be re-uploads because sometimes, you know, it was just archived music from the, from the from the web. It wasn't just like, you know, fucking CDs and shit. It was also like, you know, soundtracks and shit, you know. And then that's how we got here today. And then I called it archival stash because it's not really music anymore. It's not just music. It's now legitimately fucking archiving some of this shit. And that's how we got here today. That is the entire history of Reuploads Music. Did I need to tell you this? No. I really didn't. And I might legitimately cut all of this out of this fucking video. And probably put it at the end. But yeah. So let's let's talk about... So let's stop the fucking recording and talk about how do you make a channel like this? So... You're interested in making an archive. Why the fuck am I doing an introduction? I already made one. But you want to actually make your own archive account. Like I do. Archival Stash. Look at these. I've uploaded damn near almost 5,000 video game so soundtracks. 83 of them, you know. If I'm doing that, you know, it can't be too hard, right? You can upload fucking, what, 1,000 CDs? I can do that too. That can be too hard. Um, 300 DVDs, you know, that, that should be easy. Uh, it's not, but let's, let's show, let's show how you do it. So, of course, I also do video game music, but I'm not gonna tell you how to do video game music, because every fucking thing has, like, its own tutorial attached to it, but if you want to do just, like, general shit, like, the easiest of the easy to do, that's not just straight up MP3 files, uh, get, um, FUBAR and VGM stream, I'm not gonna put them in the description. But yeah, just get those two. Now, now, for DVD and, and CDs, though, that's a little bit of a process, but I'll, I'll tell you how I do them. So first up is DVD. Uh, you're going to need a program called Make MKV. Now, the thing about Make MKV is, is that um, it makes MKV files, obviously. But MKV files are known for being really large files. Like one hour and 30 minute long movie it could be like three to four gigabytes. Because it has subtitles, alternate, you know, audio tracks and shit like that. But, like, if you're running an archive account, you know, you're going to end up with, like, 100 fucking DVDs like I have. So, you know, how the hell do I use this? The first thing you want to do, go to Preferences. Wait for it to load. Uh, just a reminder, this computer's slow as shit. And I've uploaded 10,000 videos using the slowest computer slow ass computer but yeah see this minimum title length this might be automatically set at 30 Sh put that shit down to one because if you want to do like special features of discs and stuff 30 seconds is like a promo you know that you're missing out on but if you want to do what i do you know these types of dvds and shit you know uh, first of all, you're going to need a DVD, uh, a, a DVD drive. So get one of those. And, you know, you just do what you do with DVD and CD. I'm not going to show this for DVD. I'm not going to show this more than once. Because everyone knows how to put in a fucking DVD. But yeah, put in a DVD. And if you did, and for DVD, you know, this thing should be loading. And after a little bit. Uh, this should be like, hey, you know, there's a DVD in this drive. You can now extract it. And if you have this preferences set up, you know, you don't have to worry about it. 
it has it'll if you have the preferences set up it'll actually do every title on it every fucking video file now you're gonna have to name every single one of them and i'm not gonna do it and i'm not gonna click on this because um these four dummies dvds have fucking 80 goddamn videos on them so i'm not gonna sit down and wait for this but yeah um here's another thing about make mkv it asks you for a key if you want a key just look up make mkv key beta key literally it's the first thing because the creators of make mkv update this key so yeah there you go there's the key but yeah like it's literally a quick google search and it's from the fucking creators of the shit so yeah so yeah if this thing asks you for a key just look up the key and it's, it's usually the first link but yeah make mkv is the perfect program for dvds and of course, you know, save it to a folder on your uh, on your C drive called video. And in there is where all your DVDs will be. Oh, here's an example of the Bass Pro Shops one. As you can see, it's an hour long, four gigabytes. God knows why the fuck it's four gigabytes. But yeah, they usually make huge ass fucking files. Ah! DVDs are easy because you don't really have to worry about it. You just, you know, fucking, you grab the file, you just throw them into YouTube Studio with the upload video thing up, of course, like upload videos. You just drag and drop them into here. Now, of course, put it in a playlist just so it's easier to get to. Like, create a playlist, title it whatever, change this to date added so it's not confusing. Date added oldest, and then create the playlist. Because that's what I, because that's what I do. And it honestly makes it a lot easier just to organize shit. Cause, and also, also say that it's from a DVD. So all you have to do is this. Like, there you go. There's every fucking DVD that I've ever uploaded. Ronald Reagan's funeral. Yeah, it's honestly not that, not that hard. It's really easy. CDs, on the other hand, is where it starts to get really fucking confusing. Um, CDs require an outdated program by the name of media player not this media player this is groove music you want windows media player which i don't even think comes with windows anymore you need this uh i'm pretty sure you can just look up like windows 7 programs and this is one of the fucking results like i think there's a tool just to download windows 7 media player you know it's around here somewhere. Internet Archive. There you go. Windows Media Player 7. That's way the fuck too old. Okay. It's... It's fucking somewhere. You can go figure it out your goddamn self. I don't know where the fuck I got this one. I think this one came with Windows 10. But yeah. And when you put in a CD... Let me just use this. Because this only has like 10 tracks and not fucking 20. Like all my other goddamn CDs I have to get through. Once you put in a CD, uh, you should be a, like, playlist or music or whatever the fuck, you know? But when you put in a CD over here, it'll update. There we go. And if you're doing um, a CD-R, like, let me grab one real quick. Like, something like this one. It will not have any information on it. So you'll have to name everything separately. But um, network music, for some reason, actually has, you know, an information for it. So what you do is these these usually are automatically selected. But since I already have this ripped to my computer, it, they're not selected. But, you know, let's just select all of them real quick. Uh, it'll have this rip CD. You press that, then it'll make uh, a new, like two new folders in music. Uh, the artist name and then the album name of the artist so yeah it's really easy now there's several different ways to get the cover art um one of the ways i personally recommend is with an app um by the way this app works way of a hell like so much fucking better on iphone this is one of the times i'd actually recommend an iphone for an app but that app being let's move my thing back real quick cam scanner 
this was made for like scanning documents and shit, but I don't use it for that reason. So you just add, add a thing, allow. And then this is obviously gonna be a low quality, you know, image of it, but you know, you take a picture of it, there you go. You can get the back if you want, you don't have to. You go down to that crop button and then you crop, crop it, you know, ob obvious stuff. But um, they recently updated this fucking app, so now it's ass. So if you try to save it to your device, it adds a watermark. But do you know what they didn't add a watermark for? Screenshotting it. So yeah, you just screenshot it and then crop it. Honestly, it's a really easy app. Um, how you get it to your computer is how, how you input any fucking image on there. You know, you can use... You know, you can email it to yourself. You can just plug in your phone. That doesn't need a tutorial. How to import fucking photos onto your computer. But yeah. Once you have the album art, then you could just, you know, put it with the album. So then you'll have all the songs and the album art. And then you can do the fun and slow process. This is the fun part. So, you know, make a playlist for, a C for the CD you know, make sure this is set to oldest. Then go over to online converter and use audio to video. And then you select browse. I have some examples here. Click click on your audio, then background, image file, and then your image file. And then you click convert. This website's gotten really slow, so it takes a while. Then once it's done, you click download, then you upload it to YouTube. And then when you hit the back button to do the next one, then you have to do it again. And then click convert, wait for it to download, and then go over to YouTube. You know, you upload the video, which let's grab an example video real quick. Let's use my outro. Then if this is the first upload of your thing, Make, oh yeah, I forgot to show, I forgot. After you made the playlist, just to make things a whole of a lot fucking easier for other people, after you make the playlist, uh, go to the playlist tab and then, uh, you know, open a new tab, this edit on YouTube button or middle click it. And then it'll open up the playlist uh, in YouTube. And then what you could do is on the video, on the audio, then you would, you know, just go here, grab the, grab this, put it here, you know, put it, put a dash there just to make it easier. And then go here, do that. Oh shit, I accidentally cut. Do that. There you go. Now the playlist is in the description. Then you put the playlist in the playlist button. And then you just click next, next, next. Boom. You know, it's in a playlist. It's titled. You don't have to worry about anything. But then whenever you do the next one which will, then when you go on to the next video, then you could use this reuse details button, click that, and then uh, reuse. Don't be too fast, because if you're too fast, it won't actually put it in the playlist. And there you go. That's how you pretty much just upload shit to a, a upload of music videos. And then you do that with each and every individual fucking song. And it becomes fun whenever, you know, 83 fucking songs. I've done this with 5,000 songs. From video games alone. I've done this process 10,000 different times. Yeah, it's slow and tedious. I don't expect you to upload 10,000 fucking videos in the span of 3 to 4 years. And honestly, if anyone follows this fucking tutorial... Uh, I expect them to give up within a week, just like my friend Ashton, who tried to do what I do. I gave him the whole rundown of how to rip CDs, uh, rip DVDs to his computer, and upload them to YouTube. And he used all that information, did it for a week, and gave up. Because he thinks just, you know, how the fuck could I do it for 10,000 videos? He gave up within a fucking week. Because it honestly is the most boring fucking process in the world. As you can see, he didn't really do too much. 
He did not even 100 videos. He couldn't even get to 50 before he gave up. Because again, this is a very annoying and slow process. He couldn't even get to 50. And Ashton is a pretty dedicated guy. I wouldn't say very. He's pretty dedicated, but he's not very dedicated. And just to put in perspective, uploading 20 songs is a very slow process. And then you look at me, who has this type of shit. This right here is 110 songs. Yes, this is what 110 songs look like. And I have plans to upload all of these. After I'm done with games that have 83 goddamn songs, Toy Story 3, fucking uh, Heathcliff, which has like 50, you know, the Burger King games, which God knows how many fucking songs they have. But yeah, I'm planning on getting through all of those before I get to the fucking knees. And the fucking two DVDs back there, which have like, which have like fucking more than 40 videos each. Like, it's a very slow and tedious process, especially since most of it's just fucking waiting. Most of it's sitting there waiting just for shit to either upload or convert into a video so you can upload it. But do that 10,000 more times and you'll beat me. Now, of course, other people have special programs just for this. I know Siva Gunner has a special program just for shit like this. But that's odd. But it's either not available for the public or I don't know what it is. And honestly, I don't want to do that because it doesn't feel as accomplishing doing that. I like manually uploading everything because I think it makes it a lot more fun. And that right there is how you start a channel like archival stash like me it's a slow tedious process but goddamn can you get through a lot of shit and god forbid it's a vhs tape a cassette or a record because you actually have to sit down and listen to the entire goddamn thing And honestly, if it's like something that you don't really care for, yeah, that's fun. That's fun sitting through something you don't really care for. But yeah, look at this. It's fucking insane. You'll notice that it's mainly music, but like, that's the stuff that you can just freely fucking upload. Like videos, you know, you have the risk of... With videos, you have the risk of it getting blocked worldwide. So, like, you can't really do videos all that much. But with audio, audio usually just gets a claim. So, so you can just get away with uploading an entire goddamn CD. But, yeah, if, if you have any, if you have, like, a giant CD collection that you want to upload, have fun. <laughs> have fun. You'll be surprised that, like, five CDs could be a hundred different, be a hundred songs. <laughs> like, it takes five. It takes five CDs for it to be over a hundred goddamn songs. It's ridiculous. But if you want to try and do this, have fucking fun. Uh, will I put, be putting any links in the description? Fuck no. Because I don't want to. I don't want to, and I don't want to hunt for these tools. Now, of course... Oh, yeah, I also didn't mention video game music either. That's because there's tools for fucking everything. There's tools that are for a general audience. For... Not a general audience, but tools for a general... You know... General things... Like, Toy Story 3, like, if you want to get the soundtrack of that, you just fucking find the music file and put it into FooBar with VGM Stream, you know? That, that's how easy it is getting the soundtrack to Toy Story 3. But something like Lands of Lore 3, it has a special tool made just for it. Like this, I just put it in fucking FooBar and I get it. But something like Lands of Lore 3, it has a very specific tool someone made just for it. You know, and then there's also spe specific tools just for certain companies like Valve and, and Heavy Iron, which you have to, you know, you have to figure out how those fucking work and everything. Yeah, there, there's a lot. There's a lot to it. Because not everything is just MP3 files. Everything has to use different file formats. Unity, Unity has like... Um, 
some asset extractors. Unreal is a fucking pain in the ass, and I made my own, made my own tutorial just for Unreal audio. But yeah, like Valve, all Valve games pretty much use the same file format, which thank fuck. <laughs> Yeah, SpongeBob movie game that was heavy iron. It has a special tool just made for it, and it's a pain in the ass extracting music from it. You could also, if you wanted to make like a video game music upload channel, you know, just fucking run to Kingdom Hearts Insider and just download download a bunch of shit. You know, it's not that hard. I don't do that. I sit down and upload my shit. I sit down and actually rip these fucking files. Yeah, Lands of Lore, thirty two tracks. This took a long ass time. <laughs> like it takes, I think it takes about 15 minutes to do 30 tracks, if I'm not wrong. Like it's a slow ass process. 15 minutes for 30 tracks. Well, something like this, you know, it's one track, you know, it just takes like a fucking minute, you know, but fuck man. But yeah, no, honestly, if you want to make an account like this, have fun, you know? You don't have to constantly keep uploading to it, and you just return to it periodically. I, on the other hand, this is my main hobby. This is the main hobby that I don't like telling other people about, because they'll be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? They'll be like, what? Do something normal. Play fucking a video game. And I'll do it, get bored, and upload an entire soundtrack. Yeah, I'm the person that goes to the thrift stores, sees a random fucking DVD, and be like, yep, that's mine. That's mine. I want that. I'll pay a dollar for it. It might be the only one in fucking existence. I'll be the only owner of it. And that's how you end up with fucking, um, How Not to Be Wrong from Ozark. That's how you end up with shit like that. You may be the only fucking person in the world that still has it and hasn't thrown it away yet. But yeah, that's how, that's how you make an account like this. That's for the, the kind of tutorial. Uh, this is my third time recording this because the other two times I, w I, I was just going off rambling uh, because I cannot fucking help myself but just try to complain about shit like this. But yeah, I gave you a general rundown. I'm not putting any links in the description because even though this is a tutorial, this is more of just talking about, you know, what it's like making a fucking account like this. Honestly, it's fucking annoying. It's it's painful. But, you know, for me, it's fun. I like it. And, you know, if you make an account like this, uh, it might end up like Ashton's and you'll give up within a week. <laughs> because, honestly, this shit is boring. It is not fucking fun. And whenever you're doing this, you just feel like you're wasting time. You feel like... Like, while you're doing it, you're like, man, I could be doing better shit, but I'm stuck in the middle of uploading a fucking 50-track game. I don't get those feelings, because I can't fucking enjoy playing games or watching movies anymore. <laughs> so, this is literally the best shit I have. But yeah, I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, that's how you start an archive account, and that's just generally talking about what the fuck archival stash is. That's how to make an account like this. It, it's not hard. You can figure out everything just by Googling it. Like, how do I rip a CD? Oh, use Media Player. How do I rip a DVD? Use Make MKV. How do I rip this specific game? Well, here's a little tutorial. You know? It's honestly not that hard. But, you know, it's tedious. It's tedious. You will give up after a week. Or you might stick around with it. You know, you might have a lot more entertainment just uploading random bullshit than you do making actual videos. Uh, God knows I am. I have like 50 fucking videos I have on standby uh, because I'm too busy uploading fucking Cyber Groove 2000 Chinese Mambo number five. <laughs>